Memorial Day savings from your community dealer, Premier Chevrolet of Buena Park. We put dreams in driveways. Now at four, a Metro bus driver is in the hospital with critical injuries after he was stabbed doing his job and now a suspect is in custody. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Samantha Cortese. And hi there. I'm Courtney Farrell. In today for Pedro Rivera. The attack happened last night at a bus stop in Woodland Hills. And we're now learning new details about the suspect and a possible motive. KTLA's Chris Wolf is live near the scene with the latest. Hi, Chris. Yeah, hello, Sam and court police just announced an arrest in this case of attempted murder involving a teenager who apparently did not want to pay the bus fare. And so he ended up stabbing the driver repeatedly. That man remains in critical condition tonight. And we just heard from police and city officials. We'll take a good look at the suspect captured on the bus security cameras. LAPD Chief Michael Moore says thanks to quick and solid police work, the department has arrested a 17-year-old boy. Authorities had posted his picture along with details of the crime on a new flyer before announcing the arrest. It all started about 24 hours ago, last night at about 5.15 p.m. at the intersection of Topanga Canyon Boulevard and Irwin Street here in Woodland Hills. The teenager boarded the bus at a stop and apparently did not want to pay the fare, so he and the driver started arguing. Both walked off the bus, and the disagreement continued, with the driver seeking help to escape the aggressive 17-year-old, according to police. At that point, unprovoked, the teenager pulled a knife and stabbed the driver repeatedly in the chest, in the neck, and in the back. Paramedics rushed the 61-year-old man to Northridge Hospital in critical condition. It was with the extraordinary efforts of the intervention of those paramedics as they worked in to, to save this man's life as he, as he was transported to a nearby hospital, as well as the extraordinary intervention by the trauma team at Northridge Hospital that I, I am somewhat encouraged to report. Uh, I was at the hospital earlier this afternoon that the victim remains in, while critical condition, extremely critical, he is still alive. Authorities say that they believe overall Metro is safe, a safe system, but they say uncommon chilling incidents like this one certainly weigh heavily on the public. We'll have much more on this developing story throughout the day. For now, reporting live in Woodland Hills, I'm Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. Yeah, it's concerning, Chris. Thank you so much. Now to developing news out of the Inland Empire, where a Riverside County Sheriff's deputy was involved in a fatal crash with a pedestrian early this morning in Moreno Valley. It happened just before 4 a.m. at the intersection of Cactus Avenue at Hecox Street. Right now, authorities have not released any further details. And because the crash involves a law enforcement agency, the CHP is now handling the investigation. Sam. Family members are now speaking with us after a teenager fell to his death in an apparent stunt gone wrong on the 6th Street Bridge. The tragedy follows a series of dangerous incidents on the viaduct within the past year. KTLA's Corrine Winter has those details from Boyle Heights. 17-year-old Anthony Luna, he slipped and fell to his death while hanging out with some friends here at the 6th Street Bridge on Saturday. While they have not released the video, the teen's parents say they were able to watch his final moments alive. A lot of these candles right here I've been saving because they have personal messages from some of the kids and again that, that I haven't met. Paul Luna beams with pride as he remembers his vibrant 17-year-old son, Anthony. Man, he was just a joker. Like, you guys have no idea. Like, the people that met him that had the opportunity to meet him, man, that's the number one thing. Like... Most of these candles, too, thank you for making me smile through my hard times. Last Saturday night, what was supposed to be a fun evening out with friends turned tragic. The high school senior and a group of his buddies arrived here at the 6th Street Bridge. Its LED lighting and impressive views of LA skyline has become a hot spot for visitors. Luna says as Anthony was climbing a fence along the bridge, he slipped and fell several feet below to his death. He calls it an accident and says there's proof of that on a cell phone recording that captured the incident. But but LAPD Chief Michael Moore believes it was a social media stunt gone wrong. On the video, 
you know, it shows his friends, you know, going over the 